this this year's birth, birth uh, is a little more special than uh, every year because it's in the monkey month of the monkey year which comes after every 60 years and also we found that here was uh, a, a guru who has a, a influence across uh, borders you know and then has seems to have traveled a lot uh, across region whether it is now whether it is in Swat or in Nepal or in India in Bhutan Tibet huge so he's he's a man who brought peace into these areas morning when you saw and you saw streams of people coming in you know it was announced that this thong rail was going to be put down it was put down because of the conference and there was the nanches and all large chunk of people were not old people coming in <laughs> the a huge number of youth who's to whom they uh, uh, grew kind of reaches out and feels to so remove the silos in which we live in and yet give the youth a chance to kind of mingle and become uh, better <laughs> This, uh, this land, uh, Bhutan, is full of sites associated with Guru Rinpoche and because of that they are considered uh, hallowed, sacred, this, all this. It may, it may be just a cave, but in the mind of the Bhutanese people, this cave is now extraordinary cave because it was once used by Guru Rinpoche. Guru Rinpoche, Guru Padma Sambhava, as we know him, uh, is uh, a central figure in, uh, of Buddhism in Bhutan and uh, he continues to guide, inspire uh, a lot, uh, all the Bhutanese people, particularly the, among the young people. I think people are able to relate to him as a religious figure, as a spiritual master. Therefore, the inspiration uh, is, is very strong. What you may have noticed also this morning, which were displayed in a symbolic uh, and f the physical manifestation of Guru, uh, the mass dances that uh, are displayed across Bhutan in the different valleys at least once a year. There's a community festival. We take it, he is the main master of Vajrayana. Measurement of gross national happiness takes into account nine major domains or nine major areas which are very uh, uh, important uh, for a human-centric uh, development. It seemingly appears where the government can do nothing but the government in fact can uh, create the climate where people sleep well, people have satisfactory work. If I may mention uh, what are the nine areas or domains of cross-national happiness which, to which we must pay great attention, they are living standards, education, health, uh, attention to good governance, uh, to environment and uh, culture. But we also have additional uh, three domains which may be very uh, new uh, to many people. Uh, these are um, vitality of community, uh, well-being in terms of psychology, psychological well-being, the inner experience of human beings uh, need to be uh, given close attention. And lastly, uh, our well-being, our welfare, uh, our happiness is very much uh, controlled by how we use 24 hours available to each of us equally but not used equally well so the sort of um, moment by moment of how we use that 24 hours is a very crucial uh, component of cross national <laughs> Happiness.